In this video, I'm going to share 10 I am statements made by Jesus. Seven come from the Gospel of John and three appear in the book of Revelation. These verses are very famous. Most of them you know by heart in English. So in this video, you will have a chance to read them in Greek, to learn some interesting nuances and maybe even memorize them in Greek. So let's begin. If you are new to my channel, please feel free to subscribe and don't forget to click that notification bell button so you don't miss any new video which I'm going to make. So this is the phrase itself. We read it ego a me and it means I am. Ego stands for I. We have the English word ego which comes from this word ego and uh, it means I and a me is the verb to be in the first person singular, which means am, right? So a me stands for am. So ego a me literally means I am. So with this being explained, let's jump right into our verses. The very first time when Jesus uses these um, words appears in the Gospel of John, chapter 6, verse 35. So let's read it. Ego a me who artos tes zoes. This is a very famous phrase, you know it by heart. Uh, the word ho and the word tes is the definite article the. This is the nominative form, this is the genitive form. The word um, artos means bread, so I am the bread, and the word zoes means life. Tes zoes is the genitive form case, so we need to insert of right here. And this is how we receive I am the bread of life. Ego eimi ho artos tes zoes. Another very famous um, statement comes from the Gospel of John, chapter 8, verse 12. Ego eimi to fos tu cosmo. I am to fos. Uh, this is the article. Fos means light. I am the light. And here we have the genitive forms to cosmo of the word cosmos, which means the world, which means uh, the universe on a more cosmic uh, scale. And because it's genitive, we insert of right here. So I am the light of the world. Ego eimi to fos tu cosmo. This is a very interesting verse from the Gospel of John chapter 10. Let's read. Ego eimi hetura ton probatan. So ego eimi I am hetura stands for the door. Ton probatan we see genitive plural from uh, ton probaton the sheep. So because it's genitive we add of and we receive I am the door of the sheep. When Jesus compares himself to the door, this is not actually a new idea or a new concept in Judaism. Let me explain. If we write the Hebrew name Yahweh in Hebrew, it is written like this. Yod, He, Vav, He, Yahweh. And if we compare this name with the Hebrew word for Judah, it is written as Yehuda, and this is how we write it. Ye, hu, da. As you can see, the Hebrew word for Judah contains all the letters of God's name Yahweh, plus it has one more letter, Dalit. The letter Dalet is the fourth letter of the Hebrew alphabet and it means the door. And so Jews strongly believe that the tribe of Judah is the door to Yahweh because the Messiah needs to come from this tribe. And so the tribe of Judah in general and the Messiah in particular is the door to God. So when Jesus comes and makes this statement, I am the door of the sheep. This statement could be understood as the messianic statement. Jesus is making a huge statement. 
I am the door. I am the door to Yahweh you've been waiting for. Later, in the same gospel, Jesus says that no one comes to the Father except through me. He is the true door to God. Another text from the Gospel of John chapter 10, Ego eimi hopoimen ho kalos. Ego eimi, I am hopoimen. Hopoimen means the shepherd. I am the shepherd and ho kalos is the adjective which means good. I am the good shepherd. And if you want to be a little bit more specific, more literal, this phrase should be translated, I am the shepherd the good one. John chapter 11, Ego eimi he anastasis kai he zoem. I am the resurrection and the life. We already seen this uh, word before in its genitive form when we were talking about the bread of life. This is the nominative form, the life. And uh, the word resurrection is a compound um, word. Uh, the prefix ana means up. And uh, stasis comes from the word histemi, to stand, to set, to place. And so literally it means to stand up, to rise up, to rise. And by um, implication it means um, resurrection. So uh, rising up or resurrection. So I am the resurrection and the life. John chapter 14, Ego eimi. He hodos kai he alethea kai he zoe. You know this verse as I am the way, the truth, and the, the life. And again, we have seen this word just in the previous example, the life. And uh, the word he hodos is uh, the word for the way, the road, uh, the path. So Jesus says, I am the way, I am the road, I am the path, and the truth, aletheia, aletheia, the truth and the life. So Jesus is the way, but he's also the door. And this idea is uh, very common in the Gospels when Jesus says there's two ways. One is the narrow, which leads to the narrow gate. And so he is both the narrow uh, path, the true path, and the gate which leads to life. John chapter 14, and uh, this is the last time when Jesus uses this statement, um, Ego eimi, so let's read. Ego eimi he ampelos he alithine. I am he ampelos. Ampelos stands for the word vine or vineyard. Just recently I made the video about this word. You can watch it right here as I visited uh, one of the local vineyards. So um, I am the vine or I am the vineyard. He alitine. We just uh, saw this word in the previous examples, which means true, true. So it means I am the true vine. Or if you want to be more specific, more literal, it goes like this. I am the vine, the true one. Ego eimi, he ampelos, he alithine. And now we're in the book of Revelation, chapter 1, my favorite book of the Bible, so let's read. Ego eimi, ho protos, kai ho eschatos. You probably heard the word eschatology, which means the study of the last day events. So the first part of that word comes from the word eschatos, which means last, last. And the second part of that word eschatology is the word logos, which means a word. So literally eschatology means the words about the last things. So this is what eschatology is all about. So eschatos means last. And the word protos means first. In English we have a word prototype, which means literally the first type. The first type of the product from which all the other products will be made. So um, two easy words, protos first and eschatos last. So I am the first and the last, ego eimi ho protos kai ho eschatos. Revelation 2.23, let's read. 
Ego e mi ho era unon nefrus kai cardias. You know the word cardias, you know the English word um, cardiology or cardiac arrest. So cardia means a heart. And here we have a plural form, so hearts. And uh, nephrus means uh, mind. Literally, it means um, kidneys. And uh, in Jewish culture, they believe that uh, kidneys is the center of desires. So this is where desires come from. By implication, uh, this word means mind. Mind. Okay? So ho raunon is a participial phrase. And um, it means uh, the one who searches, the one who examines. So this entire phrase means I am the one who searches or examines the minds and hearts. Very interesting that uh, this phrase is actually a quote or a reference to the book of Jeremiah, chapter 11, verse 20. And actually, in this verse, the Bible says that uh, Yahweh of hosts is the one who tries or searches the minds and the hearts. So it's very interesting that in the book of Revelation, this uh, phrase refers to Jesus and he is the one who says it. So that verse, which refers to the Yahweh of the Old Testament, Jesus applies to himself. And he says, I am the one who searches minds and hearts. And uh, the last verse is from the last chapter of the Bible. Let's read it. Ego eimi heriza kaito genos David ho aster ho lampros ho preinos. So I am heriza, the root. Heriza means root, root of the origin. And to genos. Genos means um, the descendant. It means the offspring. So I am the root and the offspring of David. Of David. Ho aster. It means the star. Easy to remember. Aster. Actually, the female name Esther comes from this um, word. I think it comes from the Syrian name or Assyrian name, uh, Esther, uh, but in Greek it's Aster. Aster means star. Holampros, the bright, and Prainos means the morning, the morning. So these are two adjectives here. So this phrase goes like this, I am the root and the descendant of David, the bright and morning star. Or literally, it could be the root and the descendant of David, the star, the bright one, and the morning one. So this is another messianic statement of Jesus, that he is the son of David, he is the king of kings. So I am the root and the offspring of David, the bright and morning star. If you enjoyed this video and it helped you to learn, like it, comment below, subscribe to this channel to receive more videos like this. Also visit us on the web where we have a lot of resources so anyone can learn Biblical Greek. And finally, I wish you all the best, learn Greek, love God, I'll see you in the next video.